Hey everybody, um, this is a um, video that I um, had a uh, job recently, pretty good sized job, where I had to reproduce some hand drawings um, of, uh, of some schools. And uh, I actually outsourced them to a, a very large company and they, they gave me a pretty good price, but I started some of the drawings, um, I tried myself and realized that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. And I want to show you in Revit here. I actually here have a clean screen here. Actually, it's not clean screen. I just remove the, the properties and uh, some of the windows here that usually I have on the left side um, uh, just to get a clean screen here. And uh, I'm in the architectural template. And I'm going to uh, show you how I reproduced these uh, hand drawings. Um, and uh, it was pretty simple. And one of the, 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 the things I do is put it in the background and I have um, an image file uh, that I put in the background and trace over. And <clears throat> this is a pretty good little thing because every person that's involved in drafting architectural plans usually runs across a situation where the, some client has hand, hand done drawings or just raster computer drawings, meaning the, all they have is just a paper or an image and so uh, let me drag this in here this 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 one drawing I have right here this drawing here is uh, part of the same project but it's a different drawing and I just wanted to show you if you have a PDF you could just create a uh, an image out of it um, and insert it into Revit by just simply uh, going to file and save as I'm not going to do this with this one I just wanted to show you this and you, you select down here image and uh, JPEG or a TIFF or whatever you want to save it as so that's how to save uh, once you have that uh, then you're, you're set to go also uh, I'm gonna go I actually have a drawing that I did um, but I wanted to reproduce it for you guys and show you how I did it so I'm gonna uh, go to my insert tab here on Revit and import and not a CAD file, an image. And uh, on my desktop, let me see if I can find this image here. Um, desktop. And I think it was E7, E4. I believe it was E4. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And that's not it. I'm going to... Well, we can try with this one. Okay. So now I just have to size this... Um, this drawing properly and you can actually get the grips uh, to uh, uh, move and make it make it smaller and bigger and w what I did was um, I just knew that this door here was three feet so I measured just right there and it says 12 feet so I know I was very big and I, I didn't do anything fancy like I could have put some some numbers into the properties and created something but I didn't want to hassle it. I'm just trying to get something in proportion here. So uh, let's see what we have here. Six feet. We're still real big for this drawing. It, it, it comes in real big. Let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can get this quickly for you guys. Uh, from here to here is about three feet two. So we're almost there. And I'm just going to draw it down a little bit more. And this is exactly what I did when I I started this. Of course, this is a hand drawing, so three feet one is about good enough. Um, and we can always scale the drawing after we export it into CAD. But um, now, this drawing here might be a little crooked. In other words, the angle might be a little off, but we can find out real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I do know that this is about six inches, not five inches like I normally see. It's about a six inch wall, so uh, we can always change it. I'm going to go to architectural wall and oh, I don't have my properties um, uh, here so I can change it to a six inch okay or a five inch let me see six inch six, six inch generic okay so here here's my hand drawing and uh, just very easily trace right directly over it and this is really a you know when you look at a drawing this size you go oh it's gonna take forever but it, it really take it didn't take much time at all um, so it, it looks about right and I'm gonna go ahead and just make the walls uh, thin line and I mean this is the best part about doing this is the nudge tool the nudge tools 
the greatest little feature I can nudge up nudge down and uh, so I because of that I don't really have to draw this thing very closely now here's another thing I wanted to point out as you're dragging this wall across uh, things like doors and windows I'm gonna put it right here um, it, it, it blocks it out so make sure to um, turn on wireframe which is down here wireframe that way you can see right through it and if you want the thick lines you can have the thick lines for now and you can tell that this this it might be a little crooked I think I remember this drawing I actually reproduced this drawing and it literally took me to actually reproduce the walls took me about um, something like this thinking you're gonna take spend a half day on uh, literally took me just a few a few minutes so I just drew a sloppy wall right in here it's kind of kind of in there and the other thing is is these these drawings here because they're electrical drawings they don't have any dimensions in fact there's not one dimension in this whole this whole thing if you had dimensions it would even be better because then you can start dimensioning the walls and and uh, and, and actually make them true like I did uh, a job just not too long ago also there's a little bit you can see here we're a little bit off and right here we're right on so what I need to do is turn this drawing a little bit and actually unfortunately what happened was when they put this through the machine to copy it it copied it in a, in a, in, a, in a way of a uh, in a slight circumference so no matter how much I turn this drawing I'm gonna be a little off but I can go ahead and select the drawing hit rotate and I'm gonna put a half a degree so 0.5 and I can turn it like that and look a little closer and it looks pretty good right there but let's see what's happening over here oh we're way off so a half a degree is way too much even if I nudge it up a little bit you can see that I'm, I did way too much of a of a turn so I'll, I'll just undo that uh, just for uh, the sake of the video here um, okay so we, we so after you you do straighten out your drawing um, you can actually start drawing this very quickly and the thing is is you don't want to spend time going like this you just want to get the shape of it let the computer do its work so you just want to be able to you know get the shape of it because here again you're gonna use this nudge tool to really help you and you know you can even um, close up the walls like this okay we're done there we have wire frame on so we can see where our doors go and uh, if I want to straighten this wall out I'm just gonna go ahead and and nudge it in and if we had dimensions on this then we can just go ahead and lock these dimensions in to be pretty accurate I'll just move this over like this bam and um, and then here's a five inch wall right here most likely so uh, I'll select wall again and uh, change it to five and come right over here and just uh, once again just try to uh, be as not as close as possible whatever is fast because don't forget uh, you could use your uh, the computers tools to um, to keep on uh, making your changes here that's what's so great about Revit and I'll just uh, move this oops I actually clicked the picture let me undo that what I really wanted to do was um, move this up so make sure you click the wall just move it up just a little bit and uh, and then I'll show you when we go to uh, doors I'll select the commercial door here and you can see that I can plop these things right into position just like that and uh, I don't have a double door loaded so I'll skip that uh, let's see oh wall I'm still in a five inch wall so I can go ahead and create this very sloppy except I just want to be straight um, don't want to have crooked walls and you just create this and and either dimension them if you knew that there was a dimension that dimension this wall being whatever inches you can go ahead and uh, select that grab one of the walls and edit the uh, uh, size of it lock it in so you're set and you can see that I'm um, you know this this is going 
um, pretty good uh, wall go ahead and uh, select some more walls here and you can see that in about oh in about 15 minutes this whole drawing is going to be done as far as walls are concerned here again not worrying about too much accuracy there at this time um, and then at that point what you want to do is let's say you were completely finished with this whole drawing you want to keep this uh, you can uh, and you can turn off this um, just by uh, selecting a shortcut HH and see how you're doing make sure that you have all your dimensions lock them in whatever the case may be and then uh, uh, re restore your view and I'll go ahead and show you some uh, something else once you're done with your your uh, drawing as far as as much as you want to go don't go too far in Revit let AutoCAD take over uh, I'll give you an example what you want to do is is once you're done uh, retracing what you want to do go ahead and let's export this to a CAD format and uh, there's your image and uh, let's go next and I'll, I'll name this as uh, school okay and I'll put it right here in my uh, desktop okay I'm gonna minimize just just for the heck of it and uh, I'll look for that DWG file and uh, we'll open up the DWG file let's see here okay oops went on the wrong screen okay so here's uh, that uh, what we did in the the, the, the couple minutes that uh, that I actually uh, uh, drew and uh, so what I want to do is I want to uh, go ahead and, and possibly change this to maybe a, a layer that I can lock or just lock this one and you'll see it it's go half tone now I can't I can't hurt this you know I can't move it by accident or whatever the case may be and uh, and then at that point you can do some fine stuff in other words if I wanted to redraw these lights that are here uh, I can go ahead and just uh, just start drawing in uh, AutoCAD and and this will be something that you can do take advantage of AutoCAD's uh, uh, ability to draw lines in in, a, in that maybe uh, Revit is not going to be as uh, useful so here I can uh, you can also do it in Revit but I, I, I recommend certain things you want to do in Revit and certain things you want to do in AutoCAD because there are just a, a lot easier to work in and you see me working here like that so it very simple if I want to get as detailed as possible but very quickly I can recreate a raster drawing into a DWG uh, and have a clean drawing I wouldn't want to use for a job like this anything like CAD uh, uh, PDF to CAD or anything like that um, I would want to use uh, this method and in a matter of maybe a 30 minute job you can have this whole drawing reproduced anyways that's what I wanted to show you guys today and I'll see you guys next time